Following on Israel's breaking dawn operation in Gaza over the weekend, striking Islamic Jihad targets in which over 40 people have died, Russia has condemned Israel actions, calling out Israel's double standard as it criticizes Russia for its attacks in Ukraine while it attacks Gaza. For more on that, we're joined in studio by Ariel Osteron, our Middle East correspondent. Thank you for coming in, Ariel. Uh, many around the world, and especially around the Arab world, would say that there is something in Russia's words about Israel's action in Gaza. Israel, on one hand, is criticizing other powers for striking abroad, while it strikes in Gaza and kills more than 40 people. Well, look, Ariel, this comes in the larger context of the deteriorating relationship between Jerusalem and Moscow. These relations have seen better days, especially uh, since the beginning of Russia's invasion of Ukraine back in February. Now, yesterday, as you described, the Russian embassy in Cairo pretty much lambasted specifically Prime Minister Yair Lapid, calling him essentially a liar, which is uh, very unusual in diplomatic relations. This, of course, following uh, this week's operation in Gaza. Now, on its uh, Twitter account, the embassy called back on a previous tweet by Lapid over the massacre in Bucha, uh, on the outskirts of the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. And in, his, uh, in, the tw in the tweet by the embassy, they wrote, compare the lie of Yair Lapid regarding Ukraine in April and attempts to place blame on res and responsibility on Russia for the death of people in Bucha who were brutally murdered by the Ukrainian Nazis to his decision in August to bomb and strike Palestinian lands in the Gaza Strip. Isn't that a double standard and a complete disregard for Palestinian lives? Now, this tweet doesn't stand alone. Just a few days earlier, during the second day of Operation Breaking Dawn in the Gaza Strip, the Russian embassy in Cairo issued a similar tweet, writing, the West is very concerned about the situation in Ukraine and displays its concern by attempts to demonize Russia while carelessly watching on as Israelis kill Palestinians and destroy the Gaza Strip. Now we can expect the Yari Lapid, of course, will not uh, even uh, remark on, on those uh, tweets, but uh, the situation isn't really alike, is it? Oh, not at all. And this comes at, at, at the backdrop of, of tensions between Israel and Moscow um, over plans most recently uh, in Russia to stop the activity of the Jewish agency in the country. The court hearing on this issue will be next week on Friday. But just two hours before the first tweet that we showed, there was a, an interesting phone call between Israeli President Isaac Herzog and Russian President Vladimir Putin. This is seen as an attempt by Lapid to send his president to try and lower tensions. Um, uh, b given that it's believed that Russia sees Lapid as perhaps the most critical element in Israel towards Russia, so that's why we didn't see the heads of state uh, hold of their phone call. And the content the of that presidents. phone call, the operation of the Jewish agency, or also, as you're saying, just uh, Look, trying no, to no headlines better the relations? No headlines coming out from there. The court hearing is still scheduled, but this is something that is very important for Israelis, and especially Herzog himself, a former head of the Jewish agency. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the court hearing next Friday. Ariel, thank you very much.